Hi students, in this video we are going to learn the important question from coordinate geometry of class 10. Find the fourth vertex of the parallelogram given below. So they have given a parallelogram with the three vertices. We should find the fourth vertex. So basic condition in the parallelogram is diagonals bisect each other. That is a condition of parallelogram. So diagonals bisect each other in the sense the midpoint of diagonal AC will be equal to diagonal of midpoint of the BD that will be that is called the bisection so definitely we can write it midpoint of AC will be equal to midpoint of the second diagonal BD so the diagonal uh, D sorry the vertex D we don't know let us take it as some X comma Y let us apply the midpoint formula midpoint basic midpoint formula is so the midpoint Whenever you want to find the midpoint for any two points, if the points are x1, y1 and x2, y2 means the midpoint will be x1 plus x2 by 2 comma y1 plus y2 by 2. This is a basic formula. Let us apply now for A and C. For A and C, just write it here and then you do the calculation. So A and C I have written. So this is our uh, first point will be x1, y1. Second point will be x2, y2. Let us apply the midpoint formula this one x1 plus x2 by 2, 6 plus 9 by 2, comma, y1 plus y2 by 2, so 1 plus 4 by 2. And same way this side, for B and D we should do, so the B point, 8 comma 2, and the D point we have considered as x and y. So let us apply the formula, again, this is our x1, y1, this is our x2, this is our y2. Let us apply now, x1 plus x2 by 2, so 8 plus x by 2 is the first point. The second is 2 plus y by 2. So after writing this, you just equate the points. The first point and the first point will be equal and the second point and the second point will be equal. So let's substitute now 6 plus 9 will give you 15 by 2 which is equal to 8 plus x by 2 we can write. So the, this denominator, this denominator we can cancel or else the divisional denominator you take it to other side that will become multiplication anyhow it will cancel only. So the remaining is 15 is equal to 8 plus x plus 8 if you bring it to this side minus 8 which is equal to x. 15 minus x will give you 7 is our x value. Same way do for the second part 1 plus 4 is 5 by 2 which is equal to 2 plus y by 2. This 2 and this 2 will get cancelled plus 2 if you bring it to this side it will become minus 2 is equal to y that is 3 is equal to y we can write it. Finally they are asked us to find the fourth vertex. So the fourth vertex will be that is x comma y we have considered that is x value is 7 and the y value is 3 we can write it. So this is a usual way to find the fourth vertex. We have a shortcut also. I will tell you the shortcut to find the fourth vertex, vertex directly without doing anything. If it is a one mark question how to write this x and y value directly. If you want to get this x value x value will find only through the x coordinates. So here we have all the three vertices you just take up all the x values this is my x value this is my x value first add these two 6 plus 9 is 15 and this 8 you have to subtract because the uh, vertex which is given opposite to the value which you want to find that alone should be subtracted so that is your value of x actually 6 plus 9 will be 15 15 minus 8 will give you 7 so first term to get the y value 1 and 4 will be added and 2 will be subtracted. 1 plus 4 is 5. 5 minus 2 will give you 3. So 7 comma 3 you are getting it correctly. So this is this is how you can find for the one mark. If you feel the video is useful, give a like to us. Subscribe our channel for more videos.